All right, let's continue with our math for Tuesday, May 5th. Week four, skills two, page three. Number four, Janice saw nine vehicles in a parking lot. She saw one SUV, four trucks, two cars, and two motorcycles. Which statement about the vehicles in the parking lot is true? F, the SUV represents a unit fraction of the total group of vehicles. G, the motorcycles represent a unit fraction of the total group of vehicles. H, the trucks represent a unit fraction of the total group of vehicles. J, the cars represent a unit fraction of the total group of vehicles. Okay, first let's analyze our information. Let me see what information they're giving me and what answer choices they are presenting to me. I know that Janice saw nine vehicles. And I know they're doing this question or making this question in the form of fractions, right? I know they're asking for fractions. So if the total vehicles Janice saw was nine, how would my fraction look? I know it would look like this because my total number of equal parts is my denominator. So it's all the vehicles Janice saw. Then it's telling me that she saw one SUV. So if I were talking about SUVs, how many out of the nine vehicles were SUVs? One. If I were talking about trucks how many out of the nine vehicles were trucks four cars how many out of the nine were cars two and motorcycles i'm just going to put motos how many out of the nines were motorcycles two Okay, so that's the information in fractions. She saw a total of nine, one was an SUV, four were trucks, two were cars, and two were motorcycles. Now let me look at my answer choices. And they're asking me which statement is true. I want a yes. I'm gonna have three no's, one yes. Three false, one true. Let me look at letter F. The SUV represents a unit fraction. Again, right here, this is a very important um, term to understand, unit fraction. And we've done that since the beginning. Since we introduced fractions, that was the first thing we wanted you to realize, identify, comprehend. Anytime you're asked, what is a unit fraction? Unit, uno. One, it is going to have a one as a numerator. One out of an infinite amount of denominators. So how should our unit fraction look? A unit fraction should look as one out of how many in this case? Nine. So our unit fraction has to look as 1 out of 9. Look at your answer choices and look at what you understood. Who has 1 out of 9? SUV. So does the SUV represent a unit fraction? Does the motorcycle represent a unit fraction? Do the trucks represent a unit fraction or do the cars represent a unit fraction? And my answer is F. Let's look at number five. The number line represents a distance of one meter. On which of these lines does D represent three-fourths of a meter? Three out of four. Now remember, this numerator, this denominator tells me the total amount of equal parts. How many equal parts does my number line have to have? 
four equal parts. Where does that point have to be located? At three out of four. So let's look at letter A. Letter A, is it divided into four equal parts? One equal part, two, three, and four. So maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those are seven equal parts. So no, this cannot be my answer because this is not four equal parts. Let's look at the next one. One, two, three, four. Maybe. Let's look at letter D. One, two, three. Is this an equal part? No, that is not an equal part. So I have two possible choices. I have letter A and I have letter C. It's asking me, where does the point D represent three out of four? Let's look at letter A. This is one equal part, two equal parts. D represents two out of the four equal parts. Let's look at letter D. One equal part, two equal parts, three equal parts. Letter D represents, I'm sorry, one, two, three. Three out of four equal parts. So which one is my answer? Which one represents three out of four equal parts? My answer is C. Okay, number six. Amanda uses one out of six cup of lemonade mix for each quart of lemonade she makes. She will make five quarts of lemonade to sell on Saturday. Which equation shows the fractional amount of mix she would use to make the five quarts of lemonade? Okay, let's analyze our question. Let's analyze that information. Amanda uses one out of six cup of lemonade for each quart. She will make five quarts. Here is the question. Which equation shows the fractional amount of mix she would use to make five quarts of lemonade? Let's put this into picture, okay? I have A pitcher that's five quarts right so this pitcher makes one quart and I need one six of a cup of lemonade what do I need if I wanted to make Six, it's five, right here, she will make five. How many would I need? I would need one, two, three, four, and five. How many? One out of six cups do I need? I need one. Two, three, four, five. Now, look at this. Look at our first answer choice. Five out of six plus one out of six equals six out of six. Is that what I'm doing? Is that what I'm doing in this? No. What am I adding here? What is it that I'm adding? What I am adding here is the lemonade mix. How much do I need per each quart? I need one out of six. It doesn't say five out of six. Look at the next one. Again, we're using five out of six. Look at the next one. 
Yes, 1 out of 6 plus 1 out of 6 plus 1 out of 6 equals 5 out of 6. Our answer is letter H.